and happy Christmas Eve. I've got my miniature mince pie, so I'm going to be very brave. If you see me eating mince pies throughout Vlogmas, you'll know I always take out the filling because I really don't like the texture of dried fruit, but it's so tiny and cute. These are the ones we've got in the house at the moment. I hope it's going to be enough for Santa, although to be honest, I think a little miniature bite would probably be quite good for him because he would have had quite a lot by the time he reaches England. So I think this is probably a sensible choice. Anyway, I'm going to sample it to see if it's good enough. It's very good. Oh, there's a nice little kick of brandy in there. Anyway, I'm up here in the bedroom, all fluffy haired because I'm about to de-fluffy my hair. It makes me feel really untidy. So I've got my big old straighteners here and I'm going to listen to a bit of the Charles, the Charles Dickens version, <laughs> the Hugh Grant version or the, the Christmas Carol read by Hugh Grant on Audible. I've listened to two different Christmas carols on Audible this year, but I reckon I could squeeze in another one while I'm preparing the house. It's 10 past 11. Dan's going to go and get my mum at two. If you could only see the mess that the bedroom is in. And downstairs is pretty good, it just needs a bit of a spruce up. But I'm feeling, I can't be bothered, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. The house will be ready by two o'clock and then we can really kick back and relax. I mean, it's been quite a relaxing morning, to be honest. The girls are tidying and getting their rooms all ready for the big room swap around. Lilia's bed pulls out into a double, so Lilia and Phoebe will share up there. And then they'll, they've got a bathroom up there as well. And my mum um, and my sister go in Phoebe's room. We, um, one of them goes in Phoebe's single bed and then we've got another spare uh, sort of single mattress thing that we can use as well. So they'll go in there for a couple of nights. Uh, right, better get on and de defrizz myself. Ta-da, defuzzed. Not any less tired looking, but with slightly less fuzzy hair. Need my fringe trimmed again. Right, it is time to open the last of my advents. So I have got, with my Bridgerton themed advent from Bumblebee Acres Fibre Farm, uh, they, they did a main scheme, like a, a full scheme for Christmas day, which is under the tree. Just tip that a bit. And there's also a number 25 in the advent. And now you've been with me all the way through Vlogmas watching me open these. So I'm actually gonna open number 25 as well so you can see the full shebang. You can see number, every single number. So let's start with number 24. Sorry for the gurgling in the background, that's the dishwasher. Ooh. Oh, some Ooh, perfect for today. Some stash Christmas Eve tea, I've had this before. It's very nice. And number 24 is, oh, the Duke of Hastings. That is perfect for the Duke of Hastings character, isn't it? It's like his, um, his jacket. Good old Simon. Oh, that's lovely. And now let's do our naughty opening of number 25. This has been such a gorgeous advent. So thank you to all the bumblebees. At Bumblebee Acres Fibre Farm for giving this to me as a gift this year. I have loved it so much. Really enjoyed it. Ah, day 25 is a love match. And isn't that just lovely? What a perfect end to a fabulous yarn advent. Oh, I love them. Now I need to work out what I'm going to make with them because I haven't done any advent making at all. Oh, would you like to come and show the world what you're wearing and what you're holding? This is Dan's Christmas jumper. Not the cat, it's not part of my Christmas where, jumper. Why is she, where, where she was, was she? trying to get in a bag in our bedroom. Mm. She doesn't know what's going on today. But more epically, underneath, I'm wearing a Christmas t-shirt. <laughs> they can't see you over there. Yes, I know. They don't really want to see me taking my jumper off, do they? <laughs> it's a stormtrooper with a Christmas hat on. I like the way you had to describe that then. 
I just think, I was like, just thinking of our audience. There's a lot of Star Wars fans out there, you know. But there are some that are not. Now everybody knows what I'm wearing. Mm. Right, the very last Merry Music one from Suzanne at Green Lumpkin's Yarn. Green Lumpkin Yarns. <gasps> My favourite quality street. Oh, I'm so excited I threw it across the room. Suzanne! It's my favourite one. I'm eating that right now. That's not even going to be put away anywhere. I'm going to munch it. And the song lyric is Our tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. Don't sing on the vlogs, especially when they're really difficult to sing. There we go. I can't show you the whole lyric actually because it goes all the way round. But isn't that a beautiful colour? And finally, my tea advent. Now I think there's an extra one in here as well. Oh, more than an extra oh, I can't reach it, I'm gonna have to open it. Oh no, yeah, there's an extra one, let's have a look. So I've got number 24, and such a lovely idea. There's one for New Year's Eve as well, isn't that wonderful? So I'm gonna put that to one side for New Year's Eve, and I'm gonna open number 24 because I will be drinking it, along with my stash Christmas Eve tea. So I'll be drinking herbal tea all day. Ah, oh, a perfect ending for me, chai. Oh, rooibos, vanilla chai. I love rooibos and I love chai. Perfect. Oh, it smells so good. Right, onwards with the cleaning and tidying. Christmas has arrived. Yes. <laughs> the car is just full. <laughs> Are you moving in, Mum? Yes. <laughs> mm. So she's surgically attached to that I car. Know. Isn't she? I know. How are you? I'm good, yeah. yeah Working well, girl. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. Granny has failed to remember that we Christmas you. is only two days. I love this. It was Dad's, oh, so but it doesn't bequeathed it. But it doesn't fit him anymore, so he gave it to me. Yeah. It was originally from a charity shop as well, so it's doing ah, nice. to do your annual task <laughs> to get the sprouts <laughs> off of the sprout stalk. Now Heather commented because I said, uh, our ch our uh, "Yeah, be careful of your nails, Phoebe." Really. Um, Heather commented to say because our chickens didn't like the stalk last year but she said if you cut it in half lengthwise her chickens used to like pecking out the marrow ah, so wow. that's what we're going to try you you might need to be in charge of cutting it because I think that could end in Christmas disaster for I me. will use a saw or a knife or a saw <laughs> my mum just bought an egg box back, but in it she put these to transport them. She put these gorgeous little rocks that get, a friend of hers. Did you get all the nibbles and things? Yeah, I've got yeah. all the nibbles. A, fr a friend of hers bought at a craft fair. And they're oh, they amazing. I love them. So 
clever. People are so clever, aren't they? Yes. I have to find somewhere lovely to display those. Yes. Right, we have taken Heather's advice. We have cut it in the middle. Let's see if they turn their beaks up at it. Happy Christmas Eve, girls. Oh, there's some, hang on a minute, some little sprouts on there. I'm going to leave those for the chickens, they'll enjoy Oh yeah, them. they're only little. Right, come and see what you think of this, girls. Having a go. It's Merry Christmas and goodbye from the chickens for now. We'll see them again in 2023. We'll keep you entertained for a bit, won't it? all of my green lampkin yarns advents 1 to 24 all laid out look at that looks so amazing Rainbow. Oh, I can't wait to use them do you know it would be nice if I made a I could make a Christmas jumper oh oh yeah Richard oh, Dan and of I are wearing. York gave battle battle in vain. That's it. Richard Princess. of York. I would say Richard of York gained battle in vain. Gained, yeah. Mm. Richard of York gained battles in vain. I just say Roy G. Biv because I won the battle. I didn't do him any good, yeah. What are you doing? Well, I'm just going to tell them what I'm doing. I can do that while holding it, Everybody's a director around here. This is our advent candle, which is in a glass thing, which very handily, the. um advent bit of it comes off so we can then use it for putting a candle in however it's got so low down now <clears throat> my, my voice went there that we have to use a kind of contraption in order to light it because our little lighter thing is not long enough so Dan's going to film it aren't you Dan yeah. <laughs> can see all our snacks that we've been having whilst singing Christmas songs inspired by Suzanne's Merry Music Advent. The only problem with this is I can't see what I'm doing. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, there's bits it is, of... It's a light. Yeah, but there's bits of match in there. Oh, oh well, this is the last night. has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers Phoebe. Phoebe's not really crying, she's just been showing us how she Basically, can make herself don't cry. bring, ban your eyes like that. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Phoebe's Bucks Fizz is with lemonade. Yay! As is Lilia's. As is Lilia's. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Strange! Do you want me to parcel the hair? Jenny's here! Hello! She's so quiet! <laughs> I have been quiet actually. That's because you weren't here. Yes. That's because you weren't here. <laughs> it's about half past six. Lilia's making her traditional Christmas Eve pasta and sausages or Auntie Jenny's one's vegetarian sausages. Do you want to see my costume? Yes, I do. I'm just uh, checking budgie camp. 
Oh, yes. Jenny has budgies. She's keeping an eye on me. What are you two doing in here? Phoebe's playing all these no different games. No copyright on this channel. I was going to say, I'm going to get copyright again. <laughs> really nice. Don't look at the back. Could <laughs> you pass me the salt, darling? Like a little bit no, more this salt is Lilia's traditional there. Christmas Eve pasta with courgette and sausages. <laughs> Yum. Ooh, which ones are these ones? That's, pork and apple. That's the pork and apple. These are the maple syrup and pork bacon. Pork and apple is nice. Mm, they're lovely. They're my favourite. We are now off to do our Christmas Eve presents, which has become a tradition over the past Oh goodness me! Ten. You didn't, you ten. Didn't the thing on the sofa. Ten. We... Well, I'm going to do that at the end of. Oh yeah. The, okay. Yes. Don't thank... interrupt her when she's vlogging. Who do you think you are? Where are you? <laughs> there she is. Oh, I need to organise the presents. Yeah. 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 I'm not accustomed. <laughs> we get one of Teddy oh, from earlier. He's in smart. We couldn't get it to work on Norad, so we we're on Sky. <laughs> Where's your customary yes. thumbs up? <laughs> This is my Christmas Eve oh. gift from Jenny. <laughs> Do you want to hold the camera for this me? This is Phoebe? somewhat ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Here's her Christmas gifts. Maybe. <laughs> 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 cat lady. I <laughs> don't have a cat. <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> 380 ways to stitch a cat. <laughs> I looked up cat lady gifts. <laughs> and my sister is a cat lady. <laughs> can I just say, like, can I put some context on this? My sister has been a lifelong non-animal person until Mia came into her life. And now I get nothing but photographs of Mia sent to me. <laughs> it's not true, I don't have a cat. But I am going to be embroidering cats. <laughs> Jenny, that's amazing. Well, I know you've done embroidery before, and I know I you're like a cat lady, I do. so I like you'd enjoy it. Yeah. Dad, <laughs> what have you got for mum? I have got a craft beer cracker. Wow. Ooh. So let's open this in a sensible way. <laughs> My mum got me some lovely hey, tea towels for bees, and this lovely <laughs> little set of dishes for serving nuts, but she's left nothing to chance, and even bought me the nuts to put in it. <laughs> She really, really oh! wants to put the program. Oh no, the boy I, I just who know made the my world friends who have read it. Who's it by? Well, he's got piercing <laughs> games. It's by Ben Miller. Game. He plays. He yes. played the first detective in Death in Paradise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's written some children's books. Mm. Mum made us all. A little fluffy snowman, Terry's chocolate so they're all orange colour. Because obviously they're handmaids. <laughs> and so oh. pick some papers. I'm going to go put on my coat. Thank you, Mum. Thank you. Thank you. We need to do our traditional Oh, the ring. Thing. So the gold ring here is my great-grandmother's ring. No. Uh, no? It's Granny's. It's Granny's. Granny's. Grannies. Oh, Grannies. Your mum's? Yeah. Oh, no. How have you forgotten this? She's wearing great Grammys. Because <laughs> she's out. That's it. Mum wears it. I've got <laughs> I've And got, every got Christmas, it. my sister and I swap it, and the other one wears it for the next year. There you go. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I have snuck upstairs very quickly with my hair all done by Phoebe. Do you like it? Uh, she's She loves doing hair really need to dye my hair but that, that can wait for next week and I just wanted to say before we go uh thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for coming along for vlogmas I love doing it because it really helps me to focus on the little things throughout the month which can be a very very busy crazy month and I love editing um and telling little daily stories so it gives me a little creative outlet but most of all, it gives me the connection with the people that are watching and makes me feel normal because so many of you will comment and go, me too. And that's the biggest thing for me about making these videos is the, the element of it where we find common ground and 
and recognise similarities in each other no matter where we are in the world or what our backgrounds are. Um, we're all just humans, aren't we, at the end of the day? So whatever your celebrations at this time of year, I hope you have a lovely, lovely time. Um, certainly here in England, uh, everything does slow down a bit over this next week um, for the Christmas celebrations. So it's really nice just to have a bit of a break. And I'm sending, we are sending all our love from our house to yours. And I will see you again in a new year. I always release a sort of betwixtmas or crimbo limbo video where I film a little bit of what we get up to between Christmas and New Year. So look out for that. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like. And if you're pondering about whether or not to do so, make sure you subscribe as well. Uh, it all lets YouTube know that my channel is worth it to them. And that really helps me out. So thank you. And I'll see you again in 2023. <laughs> oh, and there's one more thing that we need to do. Every time I've done Vlogmas, ever since the beginning of doing Vlogmas on this channel and my other channel, uh, we always do a little something at the end. So let's go and do that now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody.